I'm joined by Laura Gill, the Executive Director of the Flint River Chapter of the American Red Cross, and we're here to talk about the um, you know, preparations for the hurricane season and, uh, and what you know people can do to help you know, in natural disasters such as hurricanes, tornadoes, and so forth. And thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And uh, we're, we're, and as we're uh, speaking, uh, we're coming up on the uh, 20th anniversary uh, very quickly of the you know, flood in 1994 and uh, pretty much cut off many in half, uh, killed uh, well over 100 people. So, uh, and uh, tell me well, what impact, you know, you know, even 20 years later, uh, what kind of impact you know, has this flooding had on our area here in southwest Georgia? Well, it's certainly the biggest disaster that's ever occurred here in South Georgia, and I think that it's made a lot of changes to Albany. Um, and it's also let everybody know what it is that the American Red Cross does. So we have a lot of trained disaster volunteers that if something like that ever were to happen again, that we'd have them in place for sheltering and all sorts of stuff to help other people who are in need. And what role you know, does the Red Cross play in you know, um, in disaster preparations? We have trained disaster volunteers, and if people want to become a trained disaster volunteer, they just need to contact their local chapter here in Albany, and we will put them in touch with our volunteer coordinator, and then you take classes on things that interest you, like sheltering, um, disaster preparedness, how to handle yourself in a disaster, how to help others, and so we have these people in place before disaster strikes. And... Yeah, how many counties uh, does the Flint River chapter uh, serve? We cover 24 counties in southwest Georgia. So, um, so kind of like uh, from, say, like Crisp County to Decatur County, north to south, and maybe like Tiff to There's, Early? It's actually our chapter is, um, is a ca- kind of a different shape. We go down to Berrien, Atkinson, and Clinch down that way. And then we come up, go over to Fort Gaines in Calhoun County, um, and then we go all the way up to Sly and Macon County, over to Dooley County. We mm-hmm. have Tifton, um, a large area. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, you know, what tips uh, would you like to share for, for people you know, who you know, who might might want to plan ahead? You know, for sure. Or, um, well, for one, I'd like to let everyone know that the American Red Cross has a free hurricane app that you can download on your smartphone. And in it are ways to plan ahead for an emergency, what to do during an emergency, and what to do after an emergency. Um, it has a safe and well feature that you can register your, you and your family on. So if you were to suffer from an emergency, you can contact a national registry to let your friends and family know that you're okay. So this app gives you all that you need. But what we encourage everybody to do is to be prepared beforehand. Have a plan and have a kit. If somebody came to your house and said that you need to be evacuated, go ahead and have these things together in a place that you can go to, like your personal papers, a three-day supply of water, batteries, a battery-operated radio so that people can get in touch with you, a cell phone charger, um, and all the things that your family custom-made to keep your family safe. And uh, is there anything else uh, you would like to add uh, we just encourage everyone to go ahead and make a plan beforehand. Um, the Red Cross has apps on floods, hurricanes, fires, first aid, pet safety, and they all give you ways for you and your family to make your family safer. And so, um, and uh, you know, what about a website that people can go to for more information? Sure, you can just go to redcross.org, and it has all sorts of different things. If you would like to become a volunteer, um, you can look at that website and figure out how to contact us. If you would like to take a class for CPR, or first aid, or babysitting, or swimming, those classes are all listed on there. If you'd like to donate blood, it will give you when the next blood drive in your area is. And if you'd just like to make a donation to support your local chapter, you're able to do that on that website as well. Thank you, Laura Gill, the Executive Director of the Flint River Chapter of the American Red Cross. And uh, thank you for being here today. Thank you.